Around five months ago, I introduced you to Agent Zero, an autonomous AI agent framework with serious potential. Since then, Agent Zero has undergone massive upgrades, and it's not just more powerful, it's becoming something truly different. From support for new protocols like MCPs to smart pattern learning, an architecture that is built to grow alongside your workflow. Agent Zero is no longer just an agentic framework, it's becoming a living, evolving cobot with so many new features, which is why today I want to reintroduce the framework, which is a dynamic self-learning agent framework that breaks away from traditional predefined behaviors. This isn't your average run script repeat AI agent. Agent Zero learns how you work, adapts to your tools, and expands with every task, which is making it one of the most exciting open source frameworks in the agentic space right now. Now, when I say this thing has every sort of capability known to agentic frameworks, it truly does because you have it so that it could be a general purpose assistant that can assist you with tool calling, code execution, as well as just general purpose Q&A. You can also have it so that it's a computer tool that can use the browser agent to execute tasks. You have multi-agent cooperation where you can deploy multiple agents to simultaneously complete any sort of task and it is completely customizable and extendable. So this means that you can work on implementing other frameworks. And this is something that is modular itself. So it allows you to work with other modules and other frameworks to attach to the Agent Zero framework. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. Just take a look at it live in action. It was requested to download this YouTube video and you can see that it had selected the tool that is necessary to then have it so that it transcribes the YouTube video and makes a PDF out of it. So in this case, you can see the couple of steps it will take to execute this task. It's gonna use the code execution tool. It's also gonna use the browser agent as well. And then you can see that it scrapes the contents from the YouTube video, and then it's gonna now execute the task of adding the contents to a PDF itself, where it has all the contents which was scrapped from the video. Oh, and another cool feature is that it has the ability to connect to MCPs. So in this case, you can see that it is connected to the Perplexity MCP server. So it also adds more enhancements to your AI agent to add web searching capabilities in this particular case. But obviously, you can add other MCPs to enhance the capability of the agents within Agent Zero. Now that we know the capabilities of Agent Zero, we're going to showcase how you can install it for your operating system, whether that's Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. First things first, you're going to need to make sure you have the prerequisites fulfilled. Make sure you have Docker desktop installed. I'll leave a link to this as well as the other links in the description below. And then make sure you read through the actual installation MD, which I'll also leave a link to. And once you have it installed, what we can do is then open up Docker desktop. You need to make sure that it is running in the background. And to verify that, you can open up your toolbar and see if the actual Docker desktop app is running. Now, within the installation guide, there's a couple of notes set for Mac OS and Linux users. So make sure you read through this before you actually install it. But once you have Docker Desktop installed, what you want to do is simply search up the actual image. So just copy this. And what you can do is go into Docker Desktop, head over to the Image tab, and then you want to search up the Agent Zero Run uh, file and this is where you can then have it pulled and start installing it. Now what you can also do is you can create the data directory for persistence so you don't need to consistently change the ENV. So this way you can easily have it so that you can start up Agent Zero, the framework, without you setting all of these other things like the prompts, the ENV, and such forth. So make sure you create the directory within the location that you would prefer. And then you can run the container by simply going into Docker Desktop. Within the Image tab, you can click on the Run button over here. There's a couple of optional settings that you can set, like changing the configuration, the ports, as well as the volume and the environment variables, which we don't really need to do here. But simply click on Run, and this is going to start up Docker Desktop. And just like that, it's super easy. You now have it running within our local host, and now you can open it up within your web browser. Now, there's a couple of things that you want to do beforehand. On the left-hand panel, you have a couple of preferences that you can set, dark mode or light mode, speech. You can show thoughts, the JSON, 
and a couple of other things, but that's not too important. You want to head over to settings and this is where you can configure your agents. Now, there's a couple of things that you want to do first, like setting your API keys for the models that you want to use. You can connect local models as well. In this case, you have so many different provider, providers that you can use from Anthropic all the way to DeepSeek. You can even use OpenRouter free models. OpenRouter actually provides a lot of free APIs. I, I know they're rate limited, but there's a lot of different options that you can use. And this is something that will get you started in terms of using Agent Zero completely for free. Now, while you're setting the chat model, there's a couple of other configurations you want to set. You also have the ability to set the utility model, which is a cheaper, faster, and smaller model for handling utility tasks, for organizing memory and preparing prompts, as well as for summarizing. So in this case, I would recommend you use the Gemini 2.5 Pro, a reasoning model that can help you with the planning steps. The embedding model is something that you can set already or leave it as the base model from Hugging Face. I would recommend you use the OpenAI embedding model. And for the web browsing model, you wanna just leave it as something like OpenAI, but you can use something like Gemini as well, because it ha also has multimodal capabilities. You can also configure the speech to text model, which is a voice transcription model that will help you talk as well as output answers with speech. Within the external services, this is where you can set your API keys. And for the MCP, you can have it so that you can open up the config JSON file so that you can add your own MCP server. You can also add A0 MCPs, so the actual Agent Zero MCP servers, where you can easily go ahead and enable. Something cool that you can also do is you can manage schedule tasks over here and automate processes. So this way, if you have the server running autonomously, you can have the agents work on a task that you can predefine within the task scheduler. But now that we have configured everything, you can now work with the agents and talk to them. So in this case, you have an agent UI to actually work on executing any sort of task. For example, you can have it go over to my website and scrape the 10 latest videos. And this is where I'm asking it to scrape the 10 latest videos and then output the contents into a PDF for me. I'm also going to say, can you please extract the view count and the title of the video? So let's see the agent in action. This is where it's going to work on initializing the vector database. It's going to use the embedding model and it's also going to have it so that it's going to create a plan to then execute this task for me. So in this case, it is using the browser agent first to scrape the contents. And you can actually have a live visualization of what it's doing live in action. So right now, it's on the world of AI page, and it is going to use the browser use agentic framework to then scrape the contents from my actual video list. So right now, it is going to scrape the top 10 videos. And once it executes the task, it's going to then scrape the title, the view count, and then output it through a PDF. So it looks like it has found all the videos and it has scraped the title as well as the view count. And now it's going to use the code execution tool to then output all the contents into a PDF file. And just like that, within a minute, it has now outputted all the contents into a PDF, which I can download and then open up. So you can see it has scraped the top 10 latest videos and it has listed the title and the view count. Now, this is just one simple task that it was able to do. You can deploy multiple agents simultaneously to carry out any sort of task. You can see the history has also been loaded for your conversation. So like I mentioned at the start, this is an adaptive framework that will learn as you use it. It has a persistent memory and it's going to allow you to use this growing framework that will work in different ways as you use it more. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. This was just a simple example of what I showcased, but there's so much more to this. You can use it as a research analyst or a data analyst. It could be something that you can use as a system admin, but this is just a couple of the different examples of what you can do with it. You can extend it even further for your own preference. So I highly recommend that you take a look at this with the link in the description below. But that's basically it, guys. That's why I really wanted to showcase Agent Zero once again due to its new advanced capabilities. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you take a look at all the links that I used in today's video in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel, join the newsletter, join our Discord, follow me on Twitter, and lastly, make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell, 
like this video and please take a look at our previous videos so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.